sunglasses on, Willow, please. It's Willow Cake! <laughs> you have got some bangers out recently, though. Thank you. you. you no, know, you yeah, have, though, haven't you? Come on, don't be modest. You have. Yeah, got a little One bit Mr. Universe with old General Levy. So we made the tune and we were like, oh, no. We've made a banger. Like, we were like, oh, no. We were like, I don't know. We were just like, I think this is actually going to be all mm. right. And then we were just thinking about features. And like, we were all just kind of planning who could be. And I was like, General Levy. And then it was like, yeah, we could get. And I was like, General Levy. And I, they actually took it. So you obviously put what? Did you have like a. You had the verse for him that you wanted him to do. Is that right? Or. Mate, we just. I literally. We'll just we get just, him to do We just whatever. recorded him over the beat and we're like, ta da! <laughs> and just like put together what he did. He doesn't write anything down, whatever. He just like. Whoosh. Rat Race, then, second of the bangers that we were talking about. Rat Race is basically my, like, freak-out tune. Mm. Like, when I moved to London and just came into this industry, I was like, oh, no, like, nothing wrong with it. But it's just um, about not knowing what you're doing or, like, what what is the right thing to be doing. And also with the internet and stuff like TikTok, I just, you see kids just blow up off of, like, just every day you see something and you sit there and you're like, hmm. That hasn't happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing something wrong? I'm not doing anything wrong. I was really sour about the TikTok thing for ages because I was just like, oh, like now I have to like sell myself as like an influencer to just make music, like what? And then I have such a different view now where it's like, this is the first time in history, artists and kids who wouldn't, who may live in a place where they're not going to have, like be able to just go to mm. a label or whatever. It's the first time in history, like, it's in your hands so much, your success. It's wicked. Now, Willow, everyone knows, I mean, literally everyone knows that you love New York. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet, I bet all those people at home haven't got a clue that you love rubbers. How would you know about oh, this, got mate? Ways, Do you know what I mean? I just need to know, why were you so obsessed? Why are you so mate, obsessed with rubbers? Like, basically, when I was a kid, would collect rubbers from, like, Japan and, like, little, um... Cabuchans, is that what it's called? Like, just tiny things. I don't know. So you... I, <laughs> and I'd empty them out and, like, redo it and film my collection and just talk about them. We've got a game to play with Willow Kane, everyone. It's called Rate My Rubbers. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Time for some rubbing action now on the show. Um, I'm just going to hand you a couple. Wow. You didn't. Look at that. Come on, talk us through that. Wow, the texture is amazing. Just look at that. Oh, look Just at that. Look at that. Do you know what I mean? So, guys, I really would recommend this one if you're looking for a kind of staple in your pencil case. Um, yeah. I like just, that. Just, just want to smell I, that quickly. Yeah. Lovely yeah, that's lovely aroma. Great. The gum is amazing. Good. Right. Well, Willow, I think we've I think we've learnt a lot about rubbers today on the show. And you know what? If there's one thing Gonzo is, it's educational. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the rubber queen herself, Willow Kane. Yeah, let's get.